What's going up you guys, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to download custom maps for World of War Zombies, especially Plutonium, which is why you hear Plutonium. Plutonium is a free version of World of War that you can get for free. Um, if you guys don't know how to do it, there's a bunch of videos out there, but I'm going to post a tutorial of my own soon. Uh, the next morning I wake up specifically. And uh, anyway, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'll put a link below of the website that you should use, a trusted website that you should use to download your custom maps. Anyway, here we go. So you want to open up Google, and you want to go to uh, UGX Mods. I'll leave a, a this, uh, link in the description. Uh, it's really easy. So then once you enter, you're going to see this. This is the screen that you're going to enter. Uh, some people have said that you have to sign up and sign in or whatever to download the maps. That's not the case. So anyway, you go to Enter UGX uh, Form. Right, and then you're gonna see all this right here. You're gonna have uh, different options on top. You're gonna go to zombie maps, and you're gonna go to uh, community maps World of War. Anyway, so you're gonna click community maps World of War, and then here you're gonna have a bunch of maps that you can choose from. You click you click the throw three dots, and you have like 30 pages to go from. Uh, uh, quick disclaimer though, I think the ones that are past five years, maybe I think it's five years, you can't download them anymore. I think they're like expired. So just get the ones that are like recent, you know, like a few years or something like that. Like let's say, let me just download the map or something. Let, let's say the one window. Let's say I want to download this map. You go to download. There, there'll be a, a download button, either either a link or something. Something. It's gonna tell you. Is it'll be obvious. You'll you'll know when you see it. You click download file, and then you'll be able to download it. So I'm gonna download it for you guys. I might not actually play this, but. Uh, do you want to harm your computer? It's not gonna harm your computer. Nothing. This is a trusted website. You wanna keep it. And then you want to minimize it and delete this. And then, all right, so now the map is open. So you want to open your map, uh, the map, which is going to show, it's going to show something else. Uh, uh, you want to trust it, whatever, whatever, you click yes. And then you're, it's going to show this right here. It's going to show this. So now when you want to go, it's go to the little star, the, the four square shit. You want to go right here and you want to put parentheses, local, app data and then the per percent thing just like this just like this i'll i'll leave a comment below so you guys can just copy and paste it so you guys don't have to do all that if you guys want i don't, I don't fucking know anyway so you're gonna click on that now if you actually had the real version of world of war then you'll just go activision and then your game will be down there how uh, it is for me too but i have both versions because i'm worried like that Anyway, so then if you're so you're plutonium, so you want to go all the way to the folder that says plutonium. You go to storage. You go to T4. T4 is World War. T5 is Black Ops One. And T6 is bo 2 I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I think I'm right. And then I don't know what none this. Anyway, so T4. Right, you want to go to mods, and then it's gonna show your custom maps. Anyway, so then on the other thing, the UGX mods, you want to click next. I agree. And now uh, instead of pressing install. You want to go right here, like next to the empty space, next to your mods. You want to click that. You want to copy it, and then you want to delete what it shows on the other one, and you want and you want to paste it, and on that one, paste. Once you've done that, you, now you press install, and it's gonna install. You might not see it right away on your mods folder for your Plutonium World of War, but it will definitely show up uh, sooner or later. So once your map has done on it, all you want to do is click finish. And you're not gonna see the map right away, but when you go to World of War, it's gonna show. Anyway, if this shows up, your program not installed correctly, you just put this program installed correctly. You know, tell them to shut. Yo, they install correctly, but like, shut the fuck up. Anyway, so now you wanna go to your game, just to double check. You don't have to if you don't want to, but trust me, it works. Anyway, so you wanna go to your Plutonium short uh, app or whatever. You wanna go to T4 Co-op Zombies. I will put a tutorial of how to get these games soon. Trust me. Anyway, so then you wanna go to click play. Anyways, once you sign in to World of War, you want to go, instead of pressing cooperative or whatever, you want to go to mods, and then you'll see your map. I put, yeah, the one window. All right, so we're going to launch one window. So once you click it, you press launch, and then it's going to have, like, a little a little heart attack. You know what I mean? It's going to start loading. And once it loads, you just put, you know, if you're playing multiplayer or cooperative or whatever, then you do that. But if you're playing solo, you click the one that shows solo. Obvi the, one, the one that says solo is the top, I guess. It doesn't say it, but uh, it's common sense. And then there you go, you just spawn in, and then you got, you know, it's, it's just, you know, science. So then, there you go, that, that's how you download uh, custom maps on World of War. 
Let me know if this got, if this helped you out. Make sure you guys subscribe, drop a like, and I hope you guys enjoy this. We're going for a thousand view, um, a, a thousand subscribers. And uh, yeah, peace.